When it can happen to children in a classroom, it's time to say enough. That's Gabrielle Gifford's call to action demanding tighter gun laws following last month's killing of 20 young children and six educators at Sandy Hook Elementary School in Newtown, Connecticut. We are strong supporters of the Second Amendment, but we've got to do something to keep the guns from getting into the wrong hands. Congress has done little to stop these tragedies from happening even after one of their own was victimized. Our, we are cutting into our program with some breaking news. Woman Gabrielle Giffords has been shot. Giffords' initiative, Americans for Responsible Solutions, would challenge the political clout of the well-funded gun lobby. And she She's not alone. If this doesn't change it, what will? It will ban the sale, the transfer, the importation. California Senator Dianne Feinstein is perfecting the expired 10-year federal assault weapons ban and would do the same for big clips, drums, and strips capable of carrying high-capacity ammunitions. We exempt over 900 specific weapons that will not be uh, fall under the bill. That also has gun rights advocates pushing back. It's a delusion to believe in, in this utopia where legislation, any law, can fix all problems. Gifford's new initiative would push for background checks for private gun sales and confront the issue of mental illness. Her main goal, though, is to take on the National Rifle Association, which in 2011 spent over 11 times more lobbying than all gun control lobbyists combined. You hope that that's, this kind of thing doesn't happen again. Travis Cook, NBC5 News.